Okay, I guess I will begin. Um, today's talk is about hatching the clutch. Uh, the clutch is um, what we term um, the podlings in the incubator. Uh, so in the incubator, you know, the projects come in and they're called podlings. And essentially they're um, eggs who are hatching. And that's the terminology. So, um, a little bit about myself. I'm um, I have my own little consulting firm right now called Dave Fisher Technology. I'm a member of the Apache Software Foundation uh, for eight years now, uh, and I was on the board of directors for a little while last year. I'm the vice president of the Apache Petri Project, which is an alternative way to entering uh, as an Apache uh, project to the incubator, uh, I'd be willing to, if you have a community, um, you can come uh, talk to me or talk to the team about whether or not your community uh, might want to become an Apache project. Uh, I'm the mentor right now for uh, six different um, podlings. Uh, they're in various stages. Um, I'm a PMC member of the incubator, uh, Olingo, uh, who I mentored uh, several years ago, also involved with Apache Open Office. Uh, Apache Poi was where um, uh, me and my team started uh, contributing, oh, uh, probably 14 years ago. And uh, I also uh, mentored Pulsar and I'm on the PMC. Uh, and as a user, I uh, started out using Tomcat, oh, probably 18 years ago. And uh, everyone's used HTTPD server. And I've also been involved with some Adobe Experience Manager projects uh, that are based on Sling, Jackrabbit, and Felix. And I've used Poi and PDF Box and XML graphics, et cetera, to do various manipulations with documents. So the topics for the day, uh, first uh, we'll talk, I'll talk about the steps to follow during and before incubation. And then if there's time, I will talk about uh, how uh, we monitor the clutch. So there's an incubation life cycle and it really starts with your proposal and you have some type of initial community or an idea uh, and uh, then you decide you want to join the incubator and you need to uh, go through a process that includes uh, writing a proposal and other uh, items along those lines. There's, you know, how to start. Then there's incubation, which can uh, go for quite a while. And there's some important things uh, to uh, deal with in there. Uh, and then there's um, graduation and how to tell when you're ready for that. So we're going to talk about um, proposing uh, a project in the incubator. Um, you know, you, you have your initial community. You need um, a champion. A champion is... Um, someone who will help you uh, uh, get the proposal together and help you find your mentors and um, help you lead the discussions and setups. So um, your initial community and project, you need to think about, you know, your group of people. Uh, eventually, you're going to want to be a diverse uh, group. So if you're starting off with people from various different uh, vendors, that's great. Um, or you could be individuals. Uh, do you have software already? Or are you developing a new idea? Uh, you know, if you have software, then you're going to need to contribute it and you're going to identify what it is. Um, you know, the champion will guide you into the incubator. 
uh, champion may not uh, become one of your mentors or may become one of your mentors. And then you need uh, mentors. Uh, you need, you should have at least three. Uh, it's going to become important when we talk about uh, releases, uh, why you should have three mentors. Uh, and you want to find people who are actually actively interested in your community uh, if you can. So uh, you're going to start by um, writing a proposal. So the Incubator Wiki has um, a proposal format. So it has a discussion here about what to do. And then you can also look at all, there's a history of all the other proposals. So when you get your proposal together, you're going to uh, create, you might do this offline in, in, in Word or some other format, but at some point you're going to put this into the uh, incubator wiki and uh, then you're going to discuss um, with the incubator on, in, in public the, uh, on the general list the proposal and you know talk about it. You might get a few more mentors there, but you know uh, people who want to be mentors and learn uh, but the more you have when you start, the better off you are. And it's a fairly lengthy document. Um, let's just, uh, we'll grab one here. So you see, there's a whole thing. This is sort of the, if you were, were um, listening to the keynotes, this is sort of the why about the project and how and this the list of developers you see this is a fairly small project um and various things happened here and then they have the initial committer list and they have the champion and uh the list of mentors here and then the vote happens uh, in the incubator and, um, you know, typically when we approve. And so then you're ready to start incubation. So there are a few different things, and this is just a highlight of some of the important items, but there are a few more items that you need to deal with uh, while doing that, you know, but the important thing is establishing the mailing lists, uh, setting up the uh, contributors license agreements, and also transferring repositories uh, so that you can move ahead with the coding. Uh, the mailing lists, um, you know, typically there is the development list and this is where development discussions need to be and this is where important decisions should be made or memorialized on the list. And um, this may be where you find people introducing themselves, saying they're interested in the project. Uh, there's a private list and that is used for discussions. Um, and And it, it generally should only be used for like personal matters or problems, or it's also where uh, security discussions can occur because if, you know, if, there, if um, someone finds a security issue with your software, then, um, you know, it can't be discussed in public. It needs to be discussed in private. Uh, there might be also uh, branding issues or other private items like that. Or you know you ha you know maybe you have a um, a contributor to your community who's being problematic and you might want to discuss it with the um, management committee. Um, but generally, that should be a quiet list. Um, the commits list is where typically where uh, changes to the repository are memorialized um, and and things like that. So. Here's some kind of an example of, of a project. 
the, um, I'm not going to show you any private lists, obviously, but here's the development list for the daffodil podling. And uh, you can see they have a few things. They have someone coming in and making first contact, and they've been uh, replied to this morning. So that's a good thing. They're welcoming someone to the project. Uh, the commits list, you know, has, you know, GitHub messages and also various other messages from um, JIRA in this case. So that's pretty handy. Um, so, but you need to establish that. So um, that's one of the first things to do. Um, and all the, the community needs to do the, um, uh, if you're already an Apache committer, then you've already done this, but if you haven't, then you need to go through this process. And then um, you might need to do a software uh, grant agreement or a corporate contributor license. Um, to uh, move the code over. This is important. The quicker you get this done, people can get this done, uh, the better. Of course, people may need to talk to lawyers or whatever about, you know, to understand what the uh, CLA means and what their responsibilities are. Um, and your mentor should be able to help you with that. And uh, your champion or one of your mentors should be, you know, doing emails around this process. Uh, community setup. Um, well, typically, I think almost every um, every uh, podling right now is is now using GitHub. Uh, what Apache Gitbox is, is it's a, um, um, a mirror uh, that exists within the, uh, on Apache infrastructure. That way, um, you know, we have uh, in our records all uh, of the um, software, which um, is part of the foundation. And so it, it moves things over and allows people to contribute um, to the project if they do not want to have a GitHub account. Um, in the past, there was some concern about uh, GitHub being around. So once you've... Um, set up uh, your two-factor authentication and uh, with everything, then you sh hooking your GitHub username to your Apache account, and you're all set up and ready to go. So here we go. We're migrating to Apache. During incubation, there are um, several important um, aspects that you need to, you know, deal with. Um, and they're pretty much, they can come in pretty much four categories. Uh, you need to build your community and you need to make it more diverse. And by diversity, we mean from diverse, from, uh, different people in different communities so that should any one, uh, set of people disappear, you, for whatever reason, you have enough people to continue, uh, for now, um, you know, if the community doesn't build, then perhaps, you know, you'll retire and move the content elsewhere. Um, you know, it's a natural process. You know, communities have a life cycle, projects have a life cycle. Um, so it can be that no one's, long, any, no one's interested in the software anymore in the project. And then, you know, things move on. Um, that also happens to uh, existing projects communities that are top level projects, which is what you are trying to graduate to do. Uh, you learn how to make proper Apache releases that um, follow uh, the release policy and um, are really big set up and properly set up. And then there's a suitable name process and there's a website. So here are some pointers. Um, and, you know, we hear a lot about a community. We heard a lot about community in um, the keynotes, which is, uh, I think, a really helpful uh, point. Um, you know, you want to welcome people. You want them, um, you, you want to make people who write good code into committers as quickly as possible. 
you want to recognize non-code contributions because you really need all that support. You need people that are willing to talk to users and help them triage their questions, people that can write documentation, uh, people that can understand the legality of the code without necessarily having to write it all. So these are really important. Um, again, I want to reiterate, you want to make your decisions or memorialize them on the mailing list, although there are plenty of other ways of talking with your community and talking about development. People are using Slack. Uh, there are ways of, um, of um, copying your Slack digest to your mailing list just to have the record, um, you know, and, you know, of course, we want to be respectful and nice. And we want to remember, and one of this is a really important point, is that we want asynchronous communications. And that, that way we can let the world revolve and people can get their opinions in. So, you know, please, you know, limit your uh, emails to, uh, to, you know, one or two on a thread before, until, you know, you give people a chance to respond and people can be part of the answer. Uh, another thing I've seen is I've seen people uh, in one podling I mentor, they, uh, every couple of weeks, they ask the question, what are people working on? And then people can bring that up and uh, there can be discussion if necessary. Uh, then making Apache releases is, um, is key. And there's here's some resources here on the, um, for how to do that. Other people will be talking about this. I'm not going to go too deeply in this, but you know, you notice that what's important is the release candidate, uh, is voted on for at least 72 hours. And then, um, the, in the, because releases are done at Apache by a project management committee, and they're the ones who are uh, legally approving things, and that you know, has to do with our nonprofit status, et cetera, that, and corporate status that we set up, that we have uh, that be an act of the foundation through the PMC. So the IPMC uh, has to approve of every podling release. Uh, if you have three mentors voting on your um, three or more voting on your dev list, then those votes can carry over and you're just letting people know. Um, and uh, some of them IPMC may be willing to review it. In addition, they might find some things that can be improved. Anyway, that's essentially what you're doing here. So um, it's also uh, important that uh, the um, brand name be unique and doesn't and won't confuse uh, with other um, entities um, software that might be similarly named. So you need to uh, also watch out for people misusing your name. Uh, this can be, you know, typical uh, issues like, you know, so there might be, you know, a really hot project like say Cassandra and um, several vendors have their own version of Cassandra, uh, but it can't be, you know, um, vendor Cassandra it has to be named in a particular way where it's, um, you know, uh, uh, vendors doohickey powered by Cassandra or you know, depending on the relationship, it might be for Cassandra. So that's just an example. Um, so, you know, the better a PMC project management committee is about managing their brand, uh, the better uh, things will be if, uh, if they are successful. Um, and there's an approval process and that gets marked. Uh, there's, there's a podling website. Um, you know, there's some rules about the download page, uh, project logo. Uh, I want to tell people how to communicate with you, um, and et cetera. Um, and there's a few different places where there's um, um, analysis about that, uh, about whether you have the proper links, et cetera, that we are looking for. Okay. So you've done all those things and, you know, you're um, doing really well. 
and you've got a community and it is just flying. So you want to graduate. It's time. You've got a diverse community. Um, there's a maturity model. You know who the PMC is and you're ready to graduate. So, um, you know, have you had community growth? Are decisions made in the open, uh, et cetera. The maturity model is something developed by the Community Development Project. And um, this is one way of measuring things. It's not the only way, um, but it, it is um, something that uh, mentors recommend. Um, and you have a discussion and you vote. So just like you had a discussion about joining the incubator, you have a, dis a discussion about graduation. Uh, one, the IMPC will then uh, affirmatively vote um, for your graduation. And then the board at the monthly meeting has to approve um, your resolution. And, uh, and then uh, by act of the foundation, uh, they make you a top level project. So congratulations. You're now uh, part, fully part of the Apache community. So, um, so that this is interesting. So basically I've got a few more things I can talk about in terms of um, some of the things that are done. Um, we have a file and it's a version that basically is an index of every project, every podling that's been through, uh, the, through incubation or is in incubation. And uh, it's called podlings.xml. A lot of the information is maintained via something we call Whimsy. Uh, but um, when you create a project, you've got to enter the section of XML for the project in here along with the initial um, champion and um, and a bracket for the mentors. Um, and then you can finish the mentors and whimsy. Um, and then also there are two other files that get created. There's something that's new and not fully this only it's here and these this, these things appear in um, whimsy uh, this is some uh, process that started a few years back and is not um, uh, not totally complete there's more work to be done but you know we're volunteers so it you know no one has finished this task but this shows some of the information but the main file, and this is in an even older format, is the status file. So you, you work from a template and this provides information about the status. It's also sort of a, still a, a checklist for the mentors. And we have a, there's a big Python program that um, is over 10 years old that I did significant updating on it um, so that it, for example, finds all the GitHub, uh, Git-based projects as opposed to everything at the time this was written, everything was in SVN. Uh, so that is important. Um, and uh, we do this clutch analysis on a daily basis and it's run through um, it's run uh, through the CI builds uh, builds so there's two parts there's a clutch analysis um, from SVN and then there's the get site build which puts, uh, puts the information together and so 
that clutch analysis builds this report, which talks about a whole bunch of different things with the with each of the of the podlings, and there's a whole description of them. Just things we're watching out for for completion. Um, there's a list of all the current mentors of podlings. So if you're you know looking for mentors, this might be a place to look. And then there's some other documentation here. Uh, the website is in GitHub. There's a whole set of information about this. So um, anyone wants to help contribute, that would be great. For example, um, one thing that could be fixed, well, for, you know, for each of these podlings, so let's just do this really quick here. So there's a report for each podling and it has references. It, you know, talks about, you know, when, um, you know, the various repositories were last touched. Um, also information about downloads and it's in the proper URLs that we like to see for, for those things, you know, signature checking, hash. Um, what um and then there's some information about things that uh, could be better on the website for example um one of the things that need, need we need to update the clutch uh, python program to do is instead of using the mail archives which are older we're now more using these this list.apache.org so switching over to this is a little bit of work because there's a and there's an index of things. Anyway, there's some, I looked at it again this morning. There's a little bit of work there. Um, and we've got a release management guideline. There's some extra stuff that um, the incubator allow requires. Uh, we have a choice of disclaimers uh, so that, um, you know, if you're um, not fully compliant, but you can disclaim what the, what the, what the known issues are with, um, your releases so that you can continue, um, to release as you migrate your project fully to be Apache compliant, et cetera. Um, I guess what I'd like to do now, uh, if there's anyone who would like to ask any questions. You can put them in the chat if you'd like. Okay, well, um, thank you very much and um, Enjoy the conference.